In this video, I'll show you how to install Sims 4 mods and custom content on your Mac. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Firstly, we need to go and download some custom content or mods for The Sims 4. So we can do this online. So what you'll need to do is go and open up a web browser. I like to go and use Safari and then need to go to a search engine like Google. Now you may go and have a mod or a piece of custom content which you specifically want for The Sims 4. So if that's the case, go and search for it. However, there's nothing specific I like. So I'm just gonna go and search for a website called The Sims 4 Resource. And this is a website of loads of different mods on for The Sims we can go and look at. So as you can see here it is, just go and search for it. And here we are. Then what you can do is go and scroll down and go and see if there's any custom content or mods you like. Some of this you will need a premium subscription for, but there's a lot of free stuff. If this says VIP, this means you have to basically pay to go and get access to it. I'm going to go for this eye mod here, so I'm gonna go and tap on it just like so. And as you can see, it's some sort of eyeshadow. Then what you need to do is scroll down and so you're going to see the option for see more and download. Now this is gonna vary a little bit depending on the website you're using, but it's always going to be some sort of download button, but just be very aware of these ads. As you can see here, it says download. Some ads are gonna vary, uh, but yeah, there may be some weird sort of download buttons. And then if you click there, you're gonna download like an ad, as you can see, just like that, avoid that button and use the official one. Of course, if you go and tap on it, you may just go and download something which you're not aware of. Once again, there's another download button there. Just be aware of it and scroll down and then go and tap on download on the right hand side like so, and then press continue downloading. It's offering this VIP subscription. But as I said before, it's going to depend on what website you're using. Then scroll down and now it says you're currently waiting to download to so just keep waiting. And then it will say ready for download and we can press on download now and it'll say thank you for downloading and the download should now start very, very shortly. You may go and get a pop-up saying, do you want to go and allow this download, but that's fine. Then what we can do is go and close off Safari like so. Of course, you could go and download more mods and CCs if you like, but I'm happy with just that one there. Then what you need to do is go and open up your finder and go to your downloads folder. Make sure downloads is selected in the finder. And then here we are. And as you can see here, here is the CC and the mod we just downloaded, this top one here. And then what I'm going to do is drag this onto my desktop just like so. And you may notice that it's got some sort of weird file type called dot .package. Don't worry, that's completely fine. And now if you go and download um, a mod, which is in something like a zip file or a folder, all you need to do is open it up and then go and drag it out. As if you're downloading multiple, it may be put into like a zip folder, but that's fine. Just go and open it up. And if you're struggling to, you may need to go and get a zip file extractor, but usually it should download quite easily, just like a normal file like this. Then what you need to do is go and open up your finder again. And this time you need to go to your documents folder like so. And then we've got these different options in here. What you need to do is tap on electronic arts and then go and tap on the Sims 4 and then what you need to do is go and look for mods as you can see here it is and go and double tap on it like so now by default everybody's going to have this resource file in the mods folder and then all you need to do is go and download the other mod or cc we downloaded into this folder like so and there we go we've now gone and installed the mods however there's a few more things we need to go and do so then what you need to do is go and open up the sims 4 so here we are on origin i'm just going to tap on play and the Sims should now start launching. When you go and launch the Sims 4, you'll then go and get this pop-up saying mods, and it's going to go and show you the mods and custom content you've got and added, and that's right. So I'm then gonna go and tap on the tick in the bottom right, but there's one more really important thing we need to do. So go over to the right-hand side and press on options, and then go and tap on game options and go over to the left, and you need to go and select other near the bottom there, and make sure enable custom content and mods is selected, um, otherwise they aren't gonna be in your game, and if it isn't, just go and make sure it's got a tick next by clicking on it, it and then press apply changes and that's it. You can then go and close off these settings here and you can now go and get into your game. 